Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my 2024 goals and what I'm going to do to accomplish them. So I am a goal setting girly, okay? I love setting goals. I love setting plans. I love structuring things. I like seeing the steps in order to get to the goal. I'm very intrinsically motivated. And so doing those things actually helped me. So it's 2024, you know, people have like the vision boards. People have like, these are the goals that I'm going to accomplish. This is what I want to do in 2024, all that good stuff. And I am not above reproach. I do the same. So we're going to talk about what are my 2024 goals and how I plan to accomplish them. And y'all drop in the comments if these are some of your similar goals or if you have a goal that you would like me to help you flesh out. Okay, let's get into it. So the first goal I have is to revamp my fashion style. Okay, so my closet literally looks like a college kid put it together. I am very much a graphic tee, t-shirt wearing, sweatpants, joggers, maybe some jeans type of girl. There's no structure in my closet. My favorite staple color is black. Everything is in black because I'm black. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But literally, I realized I only wear black. I realized that I have a lot of t-shirts and I didn't realize how bad my style was until I started getting like invited to different things or wanting to go do something. And I don't like the options that are in my closet. So I want to do like a complete fashion overhaul. I would like to pretty much create like a wardrobe capsule. So where I have like those staple pieces pieces per season and then kind of add like the flair in between. I'm starting over. I've never shopped per season. I've never shopped and made sure that I had quality pieces like the material and fabric was worthy of my purchase. I was very much a uh, head to the clearance rack and go get something. And crazy enough, I grew up a sneakerhead. I had like all the sneakers as a kid growing up all the way up until mid college, probably like the end of my college career. I was living in an apartment. There was like a mold infestation in my apartment unit that literally damaged my entire collection. And so from there, I never really like restarted or rebuilt. And I'm looking at my closet now and I probably have maybe two, three sneakers in there. Very off brand for me. So we are reviving Sneakerhead Lola in 2024. Next thing I want to do is travel more. So the last time I like really traveled was 2021. If you watched my life update video, I talked about how like the two years after that was just crazy wild and bleak and so I wasn't even going anywhere like aside from maybe finances not looking the best to make that type of move but more so like even when my friends invited me places and they were sponsoring the experiences I still did not want to go like I was truly depressed and sad and down and so I wasn't having experiences the only time I ever traveled was to go back and forth between Miami and Atlanta and that had to deal with the house or the apartment or business it was never a, oh, let's go have some fun. And so, you know, I've been heads down for two years. I'm ready to get back up. Being conservative, I think I can do one trip per quarter. So there's four quarters in the year. My goal is to go on four trips this year, one per quarter, so I can get back into my little travel bag. Next thing is I want to make more connections. I want to network more. And that includes going to conferences. So I told myself that I want to go to one conference per quarter so I can mix, mingle, connect with people, specifically in the tech spaces, right? So not just any conference, tech conferences. And the first tech conference I went to was last year around May, I believe. I went to Render Atlanta and it was really, it was a really good experience. One of my friends was able to get me a ticket and I truly want to go back with like a game plan a lot more readiness and a, a lot less social anxiety <laughs> so I could fully immerse myself in the experience but it was really good and I definitely plan to go back and I wonder if I can like pair the tech trips with the travel tip trip like let's say that there's like a conference in London and I've always wanted to go to London I'm in London I like to go and shop at the mall shop at the Prada shop at the store shop in the drop and stop at Dior we'll, we'll see how that works so I want to secure partnerships speaking engagements and getting paid for all this that I put out there. So getting in my content creator influencer bag, like that's like a real goal of mine. It's one of the reasons why you see me pop back up here and I just want to show up. 
So even though you guys haven't seen me on YouTube these last two years, I've actually been on TikTok for the last year, pretty much sharing my whole project management experience, journey, tips and tricks, questions that people have, I answer them there. And it's very low commitment, low lift for me. So I show up like in my bed, in my robe, with my meat meal braids, like it's very much like y'all gonna get whatever I feel like giving y'all. So here on the YouTube, I come a little more polished. I have a little more decorum, you feel me? I want to kind of go down that path even more and really start getting some type of like partnership, some type of money. Like I just want some money from it, you know, cause I don't really want to charge the consumer when really I should be charging the big brand that I'm promoting. You feel me? So that's kind of like what I want to do. Not really sure how I'm going to go about it, but I am really considering hiring like a influencer manager, a brand manager, a creative manager to kind of help me get those opportunities because I'm honest with myself. I can create what needs to be created. You need me to get on camera. I can do that. The extra work is now when I have to go find the brands. I have to go pitch. I have to go make the decks. I have to go make the media kits. No, I need representation. And I really don't see tech influencer managers out here. Like, I don't want to talk about beauty. I mean, I watch that stuff, but I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about AI and different tech software. I want to talk about project management and evolving as a professional. I want to talk about going to conferences and networking and career search so like I don't see an influencer manager that offers that and so if somebody was thinking about what type of influencer manager to be be that because we need you but that's literally like my thing like I want speaking engagements like I've always had this bucket list of I want to do a TED talk what am I going to talk about I don't know but I just feel like I'm a beast like it's in me you feel me so I just want to do a TED talk I want to get invited to podcasts that deal with what I want to talk about I don't do them relationship podcasts like y'all can have that but if you want to talk about getting money business you want to talk about careers you want to talk about project management technology you know the economy so bring me on I got something to say so yeah I'm looking forward to the opportunities that 2024 is going to give me like because I just know they're there I'm that delusional this is like a very like personal goal and it's to really spend more quality time with my family, um, specifically my parents. My parents are getting older. So I'm one of those people who parents have them at older ages. So my mom is going to be 67 this year. My dad is gonna be 79 and I'm gonna be 34. So they're getting older. Doesn't mean they're gonna die tomorrow, but I really wanna like spend time with them. So one of my goals is every month, I'm going to fly into Miami and take them out to lunch or dinner like i want to spend time with y'all like i just want to chill and we kick it like we're not talking about expenses we're not talking about bills it's just like look i got it my card's on foul turn up even like with my siblings like they're all over like i want us to go like we haven't been on a family trip and i don't even know how long even a cruise like we could hop on a cruise any day of the week we is right here by the port no reason why we don't go anywhere so i want to kind of build that with my fam because i truly appreciate them and you know life is short like it truly is short so I want to spend time with them. I want them to not only know that I love them, I want them to feel that love, you feel me? So that's kind of like my big hit list. And then lastly, my goal is to step into my power. Like I am a big dog, like I'm a big fish, like I'm that girl, like I'm him, like Himothy, like you feel me? Like dog. <laughs> A lot of times, it's like I say all that, but I don't believe all that. Like, I, I play small. I shrink. I don't say anything knowing that, like, I'm the freaking goal. I need to step into that power because that's what I think is going to unlock and unleash all these things that I desire and even more. It's one of those reasons why you see me pushing for more connections, more networking, putting myself out there even more. Like, y'all, the social anxiety, I don't know where it came from, but that shit is real. I don't want to talk to nobody. I I don't want to, I don't even want you to look at me. So we're going to change all that. We're going to step into our power. We're doing the work and we're going to get there and we're going to be amazed at what 2024 brings in. With that said, those are my 2024 goals. What do y'all have going on in 2024? What do y'all want to do? What is your biggest goal? Your number one thing that you want to accomplish this year? Because you can do it. All you got to do is say it. I remember having a conversation with a friend that asked me, how is it that you just think so big like you know that you could do that and I was like I'm delusional 
I think super, super big, but the reason I'm able to accomplish stuff is because I took this big idea, put it on paper and made it small by looking at how do I actually get this done? It's one of those things where you see it on social media and it'd be like, well, $100,000 a year is just $274 a day. Once you put that on paper and you broke that down, now your brain doesn't see $100,000 as something that's hard to get. That's how I look at everything. Like I'm delusional, I'm very delusional. And with that delusion, I get shit done. It's big Lola, not the little one, you feel me? I'm the CEO. We get it done with that said i hope that you guys are able to accomplish your goals i hope that you're able to put them down write it down make it plain put it on post-it notes make it your wallpaper and screensaver on your phone and computer so you have something to focus on follow me on instagram tiktok and youtube lola the manager is the name oh i'm also on twitter y'all holler at me on twitter like i be tweeting oh my bad x i'm still finna call that thing twitter y'all okay <laughs> until next time